The Disability and Business Technical Assistance Centers welcome you to the Disability Law Lowdown Podcast, Show 19, Language Research. Welcome to the Disability Law Lowdown ASL Podcast. I'm your host, Lori Mallory. Today we're going to talk about how language is processed inside your brain. The National Institute on Deafness and Other Communication Disorders, or NIDCD, is one of the National Institutes of Health. It funded new research about how people learn to communicate. And the findings are important. They found out that how we learn to understand gestures happens in the same region of the brain as how we learn to understand words. The results of the research study are published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. For a long time, we have known which regions of the brain are responsible for understanding spoken or written words. Now, research shows that the same regions are important for understanding wordless gestures. The brain regions may be much more important for interpreting symbols than researchers used to think. and could be the origin of language in humans. The director of the NIDCD, Dr. James Batty, Jr., said, In babies, the ability to communicate through gestures precedes spoken language, and you can predict a child's language skills based on the repertoire of his or her gestures. During those early months, he went on to say, these findings not only provide compelling evidence regarding where language may have come from, they help explain the interplay that exists between language and gesture as children develop their language skills. Scientists have known that sign language and spoken language are largely processed in the same regions of the brain. It isn't surprising that signed and spoken languages activate the same brain regions because sign language operates in the same way as spoken language does with its own vocabulary and rules of grammar. In this study, the researchers wanted to find out if non-language related gestures are processed in the same regions of the brain as language is. Non-language related gestures 
are hand and body movements. that convey meaning but are not part of a formal language. There were two types of gestures that were explored in this study. One was pantomimes that imitate actions. Like unscrewing a jar or juggling balls. The other was emblems, which are more abstract. That includes things like a hand sweeping across the forehead to indicate it's hot in here or a finger to the lips to signify, be quiet. The researchers found that for both gesture and spoken language stimuli they used, the brain was highly activated in the language regions of the brain. The current understanding of language says it is similar to smart web search engines like Google. Google searches the web and shows the best match at the top of the list. Researchers believe that one part of the brain serves as a storehouse of words and another region of the brain selects the most appropriate match. They suggest that the regions of the brain don't simply decipher words, but may also be able to apply meaning to any incoming symbols, no matter if they are words, gestures, images, sounds, or objects. For more information about the NIDCD programs, See the website at www.nidcd.nih.gov. Want to know more? I hope you enjoyed watching this ASL video podcast. You can subscribe to the podcast so you never miss an episode. You can subscribe for free through iTunes or by going to asl.disabilitylawlowdown.com The Disability Law Lowdown is sponsored by the Disability and Business Technical Assistance Centers, or DIBTAC, a network of 10 ADA centers around the country. The ADA centers provide training and technical assistance on the Americans with Disabilities Act and other disability related laws. If you have questions or would like more information, you can call us at 1-800-949-4232.
That's voice or TTY. The ADA centers are supported by a grant from NIDER. Host, Lori Mallory. Scriptwriter, Jackie Brennan. Editor, videographer, Beth Case. Supported by the DibTech ADA centers and produced by Decker Labs.